and welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life with Holly Bell. That's me. <laughs> okay, so in this video, as promised, I was going to tell you where I've been all this time, right? Apart from writing the two next books, The Covered in Yucky Mucky Mud and The Easy Mind, Easy Life. Um, I've also been doing other courses and other things, trying to expand, right? My awareness and my consciousness, right? And uh, the few things that I did that were actually quite life-changing. Um, the first one was a life transformational coaching course that I did. Um, that was two years that I, from the beginning, from when I started listening, you know, to when I decided that was enough. <laughs> um, that was two years long. And that's basically taking you through the process of self-love, right? That's really all it's ever about. So that was wonderful. And then, and I was writing the books as I was doing that course as well, because I've only been away for four years. I look at the videos and it's like, four years ago, I don't believe it was that long ago already. <laughs> four years. So a lot can happen in four years, trust me. And then after, uh, I, well, while I was doing the, uh, the life transformational coaching course, um, then I did sound healing. I got into playing with crystal singing bowls, which I'm also thinking, you know, here and there, I'll be posting up some videos with that, you know, just playing the bowls and let you just sit and meditate, you know, just sit with yourself with ideas, you know, of moments of things that we talk about, you know, here in the videos. And then there was the crystal singing bowls, the sound healing, and then I did Reiki healing. And in February of this year, I became a Reiki master teacher. And for me, that was the moment when I started doing the Reiki master course. Um, that completely changed everything. I don't know what happened <laughs> when I started doing that, but something was unlocked uh, within me. And I can't put it to, it was that course because I've told so many of my friends to do it, you know, because for me, it had such a magical um, impact, right? It completely changed everything, how I see the world, everything, right? It completely changed everything for me. And I've had lots of friends go in and they don't have the same experience. So <laughs> I think it's the, the culmination of all the experiences, you know, going through the process of this past is a gift, right? Going through all of that. And then the sound healing was lovely because I learned through the sound healing that we are energy, right? Um, within us, right? We are energy. And that energy with sound, with the vibrations that come out of those beautiful sound bowls and with any sound healing, that moves our energy, right? So it can help to unblock things that are kind of stuck inside. Uh, but the Reiki healing for me was uh, the moment where everything just shifted and uh, uh, it's just been, my whole life has been a miracle since that moment. Uh, just the way I see life, the way I see others, um, I just, you know, I feel so blessed. And so it's been about um, four weeks, I think, three to four weeks that I've just keep getting these messages that I need to come back and I need to keep talking to you here, right? Because there are many messengers, right, on YouTube, many people giving messages, right, about different things because everyone is at a different level of evolution, right, of consciousness, of vibration, if you will, right? And some people may resonate with some speakers, with some messengers, but not with others. I'll give you an example. Um, when I was young, I discovered, I was, what, early 20s, I think, when they first come out. I discovered the Conversations with God books, right, by Neil Donald Walsh. Everyone's heard of them. If you haven't, you know, <laughs> now you've heard of it. But they've been around forever, right? I'm talking like 30 years ago now. So, um, yes, I read those, and they really resonated with me, right? I could really, I really understood the messages in there. And yet, shortly after, you know, on Oprah, I saw um, Gary Zukov talking about the seed of the soul. And I remember opening up that book and I couldn't get past the first page. I just found the language so complicated 
and I'm very simple and my my books you know when you read my books you'll find the language is very simple because I understand that so many people are not educated right and the messages are not just for the elite few that are educated these messages are for everyone so <laughs> here I am um, and they've asked me to keep giving you messages every day every day and what I've learned too through the Reiki healings especially doing distance healings on others is that so much trauma is caught here in what's called the throat chakra for those of you who don't know the chakras right there are seven chakras I'm not going to teach you about chakras as there's a thousand teachers and millions of teachers out there teaching about <laughs> chakras but what I realized was that the throat chakra is like 90% of the time the one where there's problems, right? Issues. And it's not so much here. The throat chakra isn't so much about um, that we can't express ourselves, although for many that is a problem, right? That you can't, you don't feel free to express yourself for whatever reason, right? And hopefully through all these videos, eventually you'll find out why. <laughs> but, um, what I found the most interesting thing is with this throat chakra is how we speak to ourselves. The language we use when we talk to ourselves. All these things of I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I don't deserve love, I don't deserve to be loved. Uh, you know, all these things. I mean, there's, there's infinite amount of things that you could be saying to yourself that isn't true. And that's what all these videos are about. They're from... They're about getting you out of that, right? Which are all, I don't want to call them lies, but they're not the truth, right? But they're things that we decide about ourselves in our childhood. And then we carry that through our adult years. And until you understand the gift, right? That was in your past all the things we were meant to learn about our past right they were our lessons in this life right until you can understand all of that is that this can't be released and inside i've seen very few people but they exist where the energy flows completely i've seen i see the energies now through the reiki and the beautiful thing is when there is no blockages, like when the throat isn't restricted with all of this junk that we've piled on from our childhood, right? And when all, everything else is at peace, there's no drama, there's no trauma stored, right? It's all flowing beautifully. This energy just looks amazing. And it's so blissful and it's so joyful and it's, um, <coughs> so full of love you know uh but it's just such a beautiful thing to see when there's no restrictions you know when there's no blockages i i see them as blockages as for example imagine your energy is this beautiful river right and a blockage is a log that's been thrown into the river and where that log sits it doesn't allow the water to flow freely right it kind of gets stuck there sometimes it even gets stagnant in that spot the water just pulls up and it can't move from there right it depends on how the size of the log is whether it can keep sort of slowly seeping through or whether it's going to completely block off the flow of that river and that's what you know these blockages that we have in our system are exactly the same they're those logs but we're the ones that place those logs there so once you realize that you placed it there you have the power to take that log away you have the power to move it you always did because you put it there in the first place no one else can do that for you and that is something that I only just discovered very very recently with all these distance healings I've been doing through Reiki when you go out and you exercise you go out for a 30 minutes and you do a beautiful walk right and you come back and you feel amazing your body feels amazing because ah oh, you know the blood's flowing mm, it's pumping right everything's moving i feel great you can't do that for someone else i can't go for a walk for 30 minutes and my husband benefits from my walk 
if he's at home sitting on the computer, right? He has to get up and go on that walk with me if his body is going to benefit from that exercise. Healing is exactly the same. You can only heal yourself. Nobody else outside of you can do that. And the people that are healed, it's because they are ready to be healed. They are in that place. They're ready to let it all go and they're ready to be healed. And that's the truth of it. You can only heal yourself. And that's what I discovered recently. But like I said, so many of the healings I do, everything is trapped here where we can't speak the truth. We're not speaking the truth to ourselves. We're not speaking the truth out to others because that's what that chakra is all about, speaking the truth. So much gets trapped here. And then I realized as I was doing all of this, the importance of these beautiful books, the first two books that I created that can help so, so, so many people be free of so, 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 so much junk. <laughs> so let's get to it. Okay, so that's where I've been. I don't know where you've been, but now we're back and uh, we'll be more regular with the videos. Even if I get busy with projects and other things, the videos will still keep coming because they're always giving me messages of new things to pass on. So ah, it's good to be back. <laughs> All right, remember to click like and subscribe. My subscribe button's up here now. <laughs> Although it's probably down there under the video. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.